In this video, we're going to take a look at matching games. And what a matching game is, um, is where you have a set of what we're going to call suitors and a set of reviewers. And we need to pair these up. So, for example, we have the small letters, and then for every small letter, we have their preference from the reviewers. So, suitor C uh, prefers B to A and A to C. And what we need to do is pair these up such that no one has an incentive um, to change the pairings. So, For example, we could make this pairing there. However, if we look at this, C actually prefers B, and B prefers A, but also prefers C to B. And um, so this is, would not be a stable pairing. This is an algorithm that shows that a stable pairing always exists and also will give one. So you, you just follow through these steps, and I'm, I'm just going to do it in an example now. So we start off by picking a suitor and matching that suitor with the top of their um, preference list. So matching little a to big A. We then pick another unmatched suitor, so little b, and we're just going to match little b to the top of their list. We then pick another unmatched suitor. So for example, let's take little c. Little c will match up with big B. And finally, little b will be matched with big C. Okay, and now this is a stable um, matching. No one has an incentive um, to change. There's no uh, pairing that blocks this, um, this matching. If we changed the preferences slightly, so um, B now prefers B to uh, C. At this point, after matching the A's, first of all, we, we pick C. We pick uh, B next, say, and B will be matched to big B. At this point, we've got the next unmatched is little C, and so little C will be matched to ideally to big B as well. And now the thing is that big B actually prefers C to, to B. So we break this matching, and now we go through the algorithm again, and at this point, little b tries to match to big B, but is already matched. So we remove big B from little b's preferences. And then we go again, and we have this matching there. 